Oh, love driving this car. Fantastic. What do I need to be doing? Oh, I don't even know. Is there dinner to cook? I can't say. Oh. Oh, I see. Ryan's bought another new car, sight unseen. Let's see if I can guess. He's uh, got a lot of German cars. You know, it could be uh, another Volkswagen, maybe, or perhaps uh, another Audi. No, he says. Uh, okay. He's probably looking for a car to commute in, and he likes big, cushy four-door cars. And, you know, we, we like the Toyotas, so let's see. Maybe it's uh, another an Avalon. I'll just ask him if it's a sedan, I guess. No, not a sedan. Let, I just, let's just verify that it's Japanese. Okay. Oh, it must be a Toyota. A coupe? Maybe he bought an FRS. No, he wouldn't be caught dead in a Subaru. Got it. That makes sense. You know, the last, the last vehicle was a Honda. His last commuter was... It's a CRV. And I tried, like hell, to get him to get a Honda Fit. But, you know, he... He's always made fun of the fit, so it must be another CRV. Is it a Honda? Oh, it is a Honda. Then it's a, then it's a CRV for sure. CRV. It's not a CRV. Is it an SUV? No. Did you do what I think you did? You know, they say that Jesus arrived of his own accord, right? But I think he probably just needed a commuter. It's yeah, beautiful. It's a sport. It has the it has the little spoiler on it and uh, the spoiler on the back. Nice. I believe these are lighter than my 2009. Yeah, and they G8. allegedly they make like uh, 10 less horsepower, but so it makes me wonder, you know, how even they would be. Whoa, you got the cool parcel shelf thingy with the cover for the you know, it covers your stuff when it's in the back there. Oh, it's, yeah. This thing's optioned. It's not too bad. The, you know, it's got your typical kind of fade on the roof. But hey, you know, buy some black vinyl. Or weight-saving carbon Car fiber. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Carbon fiber is yeah. lighter. Can't see it too well on this, but these were cool because you got the color-matched headlights. There you go. Fixing dents already. There you go. Excellent. Welcome, my friend, to an elite group that few strive to, or many, I'm sorry, many strive to join. Not few achieve. Not few achieve, and that is Fit Gang. Welcome to Fit Gang. Thanks. Hashtag Fit Gang. All so right. here's the question. Uh-huh. Do I fit in a fit? Do you fit in Which a fit? Which has always been the problem with these smaller cars and me, because I'm not a smaller person. You have, let's see if we got any movement. You have gobs of headroom, man. I mean... You're four inches away from that from that roof. Oh yeah, you fit just. Get fine. some lean on, man. Steering yeah. wheel position is great. Fits. That's a problem. Oh yeah, that's a that's a slushy box. <sighs> but at least it's a real auto, right? And not yes, CVT. It's not the CVT. Yeah. It's a five speed auto. Got a broken clip up there. Okay. Got a glove box. Mm hmm. Some switches. I mean, like we said, relatively clean person because uh, there's cleaner in here already, and it smells. It smells pretty good. The dash is and clean, and with yeah. my seat all the way back, and I'm comfortable. You're good. Um, you can fit, I think, another person back hey. here. So here's the real question. Uh huh. Do I fit in the back of the fit? Do you fit in the back of the fit? You do. You still have the same headroom, and you. I mean, you know, it's not comfortable. You're not going to take a long ride in it. But no, but the fit <laughs> is amazing. Yeah. That they called it the right name. Because most things do fit in a fit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had a jump pack. I could have brought it sitting I, on my I, desk. I, I... Well, battery's dead. Not surprisingly. Hmm. Or just Cable's loose. a little loose. Like All right, so this one was a little bit loose here. Yep. You know, mine never tightens down, it seems like. So we'll give it another try with the 
With that moved around, uh -huh. See I'm moving. thinking we're still going to need a jug. Uh, probably, judging by the sound. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, it's only fitting that right. a fit jumps a fit. Yes. Fit to the rescue. All right, these are a little bit rusty, so they may require a little bit of jiggling. I'm going to jiggle first, though. All right, we'll give her a try. All right. All right. Here we go, baby. Hey! Success! Oh, it sounds wonderful. It does sound wonderful. It sounds better than mine. Blowing the dust out? Mm-hmm. Guess I should have checked to see if it had oil in it. I imagine it does. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plenty. Good enough. More than enough. Sounds like we might have a little bit mm. of squeaky squeaky down there. I hear that. Maybe a little motor mount wiggly wiggly. Well, these motor mounts are crap. The uh, rear one specifically. Get a little squeaky squeaky when the AC comes on. Belt? Idle drops down a little bit. It looks like it probably needs a belt. And a... My idle has always dropped down when the AC comes on. It's a 1.5. It makes a no belt and a, uh, like the pulley for the the belt. Oh, okay. Like that's where it sounds like it's coming from at least. Maybe the tensioner? Two yeah, that's tensioner. right. Yeah. I've done that job before. Hey, there's baseball on the radio. That's a good sign. Yeah. Spring is here. Uh -huh. Hey, we got shifting. Yeah, it definitely shifted. Kind of a hard shift, but it shifted. Ooh, look. Fit. Yeah, sick. Hmm, a little, a little smell. What do you got? Got some rattle at the front. Sounds like sway bar lengths. Mm -hmm. Various parts, bumpers falling off. It seems relatively tight though honestly it's like CRV. it's a hoonick it had CRV. the word it had the word boobs on the front really? window on that crv yeah yeah, yeah. in uh, mailbox letters every time i hit a bump something goes something crunch. goes crunchy crunch <laughs> yeah it's perfect and we could hit a rally cross with this tomorrow it's fellow honda friend right here yeah so Honda's i was told friends. oh my god that sounds like the under yeah. to me like the yeah. trays are dragging I was also told it had like 115,000 on it. Uh huh. 209. AC works. Uh, yeah, something's definitely shimmying over here. And I lost. I got lost. Yeah, the brakes are a little uh, like uh, uh, draggy smelling. Oh, it's brakes you're smelling. Well, there are uh, copious amounts of brake dust all over. Uh, the, the wheels, so they could be dragging. I mean, you don't normally get brake dust on your rears when you got dropped. Was that? Was that? Oh, that's that pipe thing over there making a dragging brake noise. Hey, Fig Gang! Fig Gang! That's our symbol, too, by the way. It's sort of an F, if you think about it. It's the top part of the. I made it up. This thing makes some interesting noises when you turn. Fig Gang. But you know what? It is running, it is driving, yep. it is a $500 car. Yep, and it's everything you could expect it to be for a $500 car. Oh, forgot to check out the flappy paddles. Oh yeah, pop it down one right now. All right, this is one. Does it, uh, do you have to put it in S to yeah. make it hold? One, two. Are you doing that? You shift it up? Yeah. Okay. Three. No, it didn't like it. It didn't allow I me. I bet to. if you put it in sport, it will uh, hold. Test the glove box. Oh, yeah, it's the inner fender. On the left there? Yeah. Let's see if I can tie it up. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I can get in there, you can see that it's hanging. So, yeah, if we can zip tie it up. Man, don't leak anything underneath, though. No, it looks pretty clean. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of schmutz on this side. Not much, though. This one's doing the exact same thing. Yeah. And it has zip ties on it already that have been broken. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be missing something in this general vicinity. But hey, you can join me. I'm missing the one on the passenger side. Together we have two good ones. All right. Can make it work. Oh, yeah. The man has zip ties now. All right. While you do that, I'll uh, work on getting the stuff out of the car. Sounds good. like we have some registration papers here just, just set everything over here okay can do go for the glove box Let's see what's there oh no we got owner's manualage 
Yep. Big cup of change. Okay. But Work. better? Good for 100 miles an hour now. This side good too? I didn't check this side. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Oh, really? Yeah. Eh, it's not dragging on the ground. We'll let it hang. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to come out. No. Got a nice exhaust tone. It doesn't sound bad. All right, well. Race? Uh, <laughs> race immediately. Uh, I guess I'll uh, I'll uh, just follow you back and make sure that you make it back. And, yeah. Uh, I assume it will. I think so. Yep. The most of the squeaks and weird smells and noises have gone away. Right, yeah. So it's either completely broken or healed. We are cruising now. So we're at 65, 2500 RPM. Not too shabby. You know, it drives just fine. Man, I am just kind of digging on this car though. These big, wide open windows. You know, and the interior's not terrible. 200,000, it's in pretty nice shape. We'll see if Ryan rips away from this stoplight with some gusto. Nice. And that's what it looks like descending. I will try to keep up. Yeah, real good, real good. It seemed to pull quite hard. Yeah. From the stoplight, not bad at all. It runs good. Yeah. The real question is, does it restart? So turn it off. Turn it off. And will it restart? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all day there long. Go, man. No problem at all. This car is a, it's a refrigerator, but there's something about them. You know, people say the answer is always Miata. Right. And I think this is another answer. Miata's still an answer, but if your equation includes the question, what can I also fit a 60-inch TV in? Right. This is it. I mean, I you can you can put the seats up in the back, and you can put a, seat, a, a, a TV in that way. You can put them all the way down and put a TV in that way. You can put a bunch of tall stuff in the back. Uh, a whole drum kit, I'm sure, would fit very easily in the back of one of these. No problem, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean... But it, it does all of the Miata things as far as not having a whole lot of power, carrying your speed, you know, and 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 being torquey enough from a one five to get you off the line. No, it's fine, and even the even the automatic feels fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you know, it's a little bit more excitable. You know, as soon as you give it a little bit of throttle, it downshifts immediately. Where obviously manual, you're you're in that gear, you're not going to get any more acceleration. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But this is ready to go right away. Right. Uh. Which I mean, what's going to happen with this car? Heck, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna. Um, you know, I can feel the motor moving around there. Mm -hmm. The motor mount stuff you were talking about there. Yep. It had a slight hesitation one time. Um, you know, I just need to go through and get it all serviced up and uh, mm -hmm. new belts and rollers and stuff. It'll probably be good for another 100000 And it pulled so hard from that stop, and it's not smoking. It's not doing anything crazy, you know, for 209,000 miles. You want me to go without you? I didn't realize you were sitting there. I was waiting on you. <laughs> I'm looking for a clutch, and I'm not finding one. Oh, a little parcel shelf here to put your, your parcel Sharpie. Okay, this is going to be very strange. Driving one that does not have a stick. Yeah, boy, its throttle response is real good. I can see why the automatics got better fuel mileage than the manuals, because that shifted real quick. But man, it feels solid. Yeah, after we tied up the stuff, like all the suspension noises went yeah. away. I mean, I can feel the, the, the shocks are definitely worn. Uh-huh. But it's not too far off. The alignment's not too far off. It's That's not even really a hard downshift, like going up the hill or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in sport mode. <laughs> I'll just fling it a little bit here and see what it's like. It's a fit. That feels like a fit. Boy, oh boy, that's gutless. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a fit, though. It's holding. I mean, that's plenty for autocross. Yeah. You know? That'd be fine. You probably wouldn't get close to the red line because it takes forever to get there. Next question is, does just putting it in sport mode bump up the revs at all? And see it go. I'll say even in drive, it's already pretty responsive. Like I, I'm not sure what else they do in sport. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel sportier. Maybe it only goes to fourth gear on the highway or something. Oh, okay, maybe. Sometimes in sport mode, they take away gears. So go down here. Go to one. It's not super slow. 
I mean, I've, I've felt slower yes. <laughs> shifting transmissions. And uh, I did find... Um, Good downshift. Some kind of uh, like organ transmission parts or something. They make a some kind of like shift solenoid upgrade kit for this. Shit, that's huh. supposed to fit gang. Um, fit gang, that's right. It's like this. Oh, yeah. Fit gang. Fit yeah. gang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do something, you know, in this... Normally, it's like I, you try to give him one of these, you know, where you actually make the F, but you can't, you got two hands are hard to do, so I just. <laughs> you can almost kind of make a. <laughs> the F with the one hand? Yeah, I guess. It really looks like a gang sign at that point. <laughs> it really looks like you're trying too hard. Oh, yeah, I'm in manual mode still. Is it not a gang? Uh, yeah, that's true, it is. I'll be honest with you, brakes feel fine to me yeah. compared to mine. It's. You don't use them. That's the thing. Right. You get it going and then you don't touch them. So. Just a brush here and a brush there through a roundabout to make it, you know, swing a little. And they make the, uh, I will I will say the same to you that I said to Tyra and anybody that has a fit over and over again. Progress or a sway bar. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it is just, it's not really a sway bar. It's just a strut tie bar and it ties the two of them together. But the rear axle is different on this one than mine, I think. A little bit. Yeah. Um, for you to add camber in the rear of your car, you have Difficult. to... Um, cut off the rear spindles yes right and like bolt them on yeah yeah and this one they just bolt on okay so i can unbolt the rear spindles put uh the shim things on there and get they have a degree and a half they have two degrees and they have a three degree kit so I'm that'd gonna, be sick i'm gonna go with a degree and a half kit for now that's why so many people race these more than they race. i mean you know sunday cup and whatnot why they race these i think more than they race the ge well and with the cylinder head design um you know, your your all of your exhaust ports are to a square port that's this big. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas in this has individual exhaust ports for each cylinder. Oh, okay. It's like a a standard cylinder head. Whereas in yours is kind of more optimized, I would think, to bolt a turbo to. Oh, huh. As in, because it all comes into a smaller space. Hmm. Whereas in mine is not as optimal, as in it could breathe naturally aspirated as well, mm -hmm. which. I think if, if, if I'm going to do anything, that's what I'm going to do. Make I know a guy who's got an extra cylinder head, and uh, it would make a good write-up or something. A guy who might have spent $400 on a, on a rebuilt cylinder head from eBay that was the wrong cylinder head that actually fits this car and not my car? Yeah. I did that. But you know what? Hey, it'll go to a good home. Now we, now we got one to start with uh, doing yeah. some race car stuff. Too. A, a fresh head. They said it was anyway. I think it might just be a Craigslist rebuild, though. You know, just a little bit of spray paint on the outside and but you know i'm gonna take it all apart put springs in it yeah. and port it and have nolan's check it out mm -hmm. i mean i'm gonna do all the stuff it looks cleaner the internal parts look cleaner than what they would if they just came out of a two hundred thousand mile car though yep. so i mean this is the top end model yep of this car so you got the flappy paddles you got the cool body kit you got all the cool stuff for 500 bucks i dig it yeah